It lies between India and China. Nearest to India and long ruled by Great Britain is Burma, a country that gained its independence in 1948. Two great rivers flow through Burma, the Irrawaddy, almost through its center, and the Salween, which cuts across its eastern flank. On these rivers and their tributaries, the people of Burma depend for much of their life, where great quantities of rice are grown. The rivers are not used for transportation alone. They provide water for drinking and cooking, fish to eat, and play an important part in the lives of the people. The Burmese people, who are very clean, bathe and wash their clothes along the banks. The clothes are first soaked, then beaten with paddles. The cool water feels good to Funjan and his son, since most of Burma has a very warm climate with two distinct seasons, rainy and dry. The fish net is always brought along on the days when the family visits the river. Although throwing the net looks easy, it requires a good deal of practice. If he's lucky, Bunjin will catch enough fish to last until the next trip down to the river. Fish are important in providing protein in the diet, which consists almost entirely of rice. Bunjan and his family have their own small rice field, or paddy. When it is harvest time, everyone helps, because for the people of Burma, rice is the staff of life, their most precious commodity, since they so completely depend upon it for their existence. Some of the rice is used to make a kind of rice milk. It is mixed with a few drops of water, and then ground between two stones. While not as nourishing as real milk, which is difficult to obtain, the rice milk does make a fair substitute. At mealtime, the family gathers on the open porch of their house. Meals are taken at about 10 in the morning, 5 in the afternoon, and 9 at night. All meals consist mainly of rice which is eaten with the fingers of the right hand. Bamboo grows wild and very quickly in the humid forests around Punjan's village. The trees grow in dense thickets with a great deal of foliage. Punjan and his neighbors use the bamboo to build houses and furniture and are even able to sell some of it. The foliage is trimmed from the trunk and made ready for use in anything from a house in Burma to a chair in your own backyard. The roof of Funjan's house is made from thatched palm leaves. He uses the tall bamboo grass from the forest to weave mats. These mats are used as the floor in his house. He takes pride in weaving them neatly and firmly. The thatch on the roof must be replaced at regular intervals since the hot sun and torrential rains tend to rot it. This is a job for the women of the house. The tropical forest provides nearly all that Fungin requires with which to live. With the aid of his water buffalo, Hard timber, which he has cut some time ago, is hauled to a pond. Here it is allowed to soak in water for an entire season. If the logs were not soaked, termites would quickly eat through them. They are then pulled out to be dried in the sun before being used or sold. The hard tropical wood serves them well. The loom is made from it. Fungin's wife weaves cloth for a lungi, which is the long skirt that both men and women wear. <laughs> 